Okay, a few of you were asking me about this question from the worksheet at the end of the lesson the other day. So just a quick work through some of this. I gave some of you a hint on this, but I'll just work through it now and show you what to do. So we've got this polynomial fx. This is when you put x plus 1 in, we get this. When you put x minus 1 in, we get this. What's the value of a squared plus b squared plus c squared? So if we start by saying... If x of fx, f of x squared plus 1 is x to the 4 plus 4x squared, that can factorise into x squared times x squared plus 4. And what I'm now going to do is I'm going to let y equal x squared plus 1. So... I'm going to look at this in terms of f of y rather than x squared. So I'm bringing it down to just y rather than having the squared in there, which will hopefully make it easier. And if y is equal to x squared plus 1, I could also say that x squared must be y minus 1. So f of y, so we said f of x squared was equal to, that f of x squared plus 1 is equal to this. So this x squared, I'm going to replace by y minus 1. So the x squared is y minus 1. So I'm going to have y minus 1 for that. And then I'm going to say, well, this x squared plus 4 must be the same as y minus 1 plus 4. So y minus 1 plus 4 is the same as y plus 3. I've now got that factorised quite nicely into two brackets. And I'm going to do the same thing now and say, well, if that's f of y, if I'm looking at f of x squared minus 1, how could I turn that into something in terms of y? So x squared minus 1, so if x squared is y minus 1, x squared minus 1 would be y minus 2. And if I know that f of y is y minus 1 times y plus 3, then f of y minus 2, I'm just replacing here where I have a y. I'm replacing it with a y minus 2. So if I put y minus 2 in there, minus 1, that one would become y minus 3. And if I put y minus 2 in here, y minus 2 plus 3 would be y plus 1. And if I then say, well, what would that be in terms of x? So I originally started this by saying y was equal to x squared plus 1. So if I replace each of these y's with x squared plus 1, that would be equal to, so for the first one, if that's x squared plus 1, take away 3, that would be x squared minus 2. And if I replace the next y with x squared plus 1, x squared plus 1 plus 1 would be x squared plus 2. And if I multiply out those two brackets, I'm going to get x to the 4 plus, or minus, sorry, minus 4. And I know that this must be what they said f of x minus 1 is. This is, we've said these two things are the same. f of x squared minus 1 is the same as f of y minus 2. So these two things are equal. So I'm just going to compare this to the one we had, which was the ax4 plus 4bx squared plus c. And from that, we can see, well, the x4 term here those are the same, so a must be 1. The x squared terms, I've got a b, 4b here, I've got none here, so 4b must be 0, so b must be 0. And c must be the number part at the end, so c must be minus 4. And then we're simply asked to say what is a squared plus b squared plus c squared if I square each of these, a squared is 1, 0, minus 4 squared is 16, 1 plus 0 plus 16, 
the answer is 17.